Good evening. Good evening, good evening, everybody. Hello, could you listen to me? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Wendy, Elena, Lourdes, Olga, Ileana, Maria. Good evening, teacher. Dalila, Crisia, Claudia, and Gabriela is trying to get into the class. Good evening. Hope you are okay. Hope you are willing to learn something new tonight. Teacher. Hello, Lourdes. I'm not feeling feeling good today. Oh, you don't feel that I, good? I have headache, headache because I have cough. Okay. Okay. Thanks um, for letting me know. I uh, just listen. I'll be, I'll be listening. Okay. Tonight. Okay, thanks for letting me know about it. Thank That's you. right. Thank you. Okay, so I can see Dahlia now, she got connected. And actually I have 14 people and still waiting for the rest. I can see Gabriela, that's, she's connected now. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome back, welcome. I can see Margarita now. She's our... Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, Margarita. Hey, so be ready to, to let me know about what you have learned uh, recently, I will check list attendance, then we are going to start with the class. Mm, today is Wednesday, right? Alejandra, Aristides, 
Carlos David. Present. Cesar. Present teacher. Claudia Margarita. Present teacher. Concepción de Lourdes. Present teacher. Ok, Concepción. Dalila. Present teacher. Elena. I'm here, teacher. Gabriela. Present teacher. Idalia. Present teacher. Iliana. Hi, teacher. Hi, uh, Ingrid. Ingrid. Juan Carlos. Crisia. Liliana. María Magdalena. Present teacher. Olga. Present teacher. Rina. Present teacher. En Wendy. Here, teacher. Wendy, that is all right. Very good. Now, almost everybody is in the class. I'm still missing like four or five people to get into the Aristide. class. Aristide. Aristide. Okay, Aristide is here now. Okay, Aristide. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So, three people are missing. Well, we we'll check it later. Well, yesterday we started with a topic, right? But before going to that topic, I need I need you to tell me about something you learned today. Caesar, for example. It's simple present. Simple present. What did you learn about simple present? <clears throat> Um, <clears throat> uh, no, I I really I I really was learning about about the the use to the words uh, once and one. Uh, for example, uh, I like to buy one of these laptops. Uh, which laptop do you like or which one do you like? Which one? Okay. Yes. Hey, thank you, Cesar. Something that you got, right? Let me see. I saw Aristides, but Aristides, I think he's getting back home. I don't know. Well, let's see. Let's try with Gabriela. Gabriela, aha, tell us about something new you've learned recently. After after Gabriela, Crisia, after Crisia, Iliana. Okay. Me, verdad? Yeah. Okay. The um, present present simple, for example, what do you do? Um oh I I win win coffee every every morning mm -hmm. so simple present expressions then. Pres um, present present simple present simple okay mm -hmm. okay Chrisia, what's new well uh i was practicing uh, the exercise you send to the group. Okay. And yes. what did you get there? I made some examples, uh, but um, I don't know. I don't remember right now, but I do. I I done that exercise. Have done it, but uh, but uh, for today I I learned um idioms. Uh, which idioms? Which ones? So to speak, for así decirlo. Yeah. So to speak. 
Yes, that's that is idioms. Okay. Okay, thank you. Iliana? Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, Iliana. Well, today I was practicing. Uh, I uh, always get confused uh, in the position about where to be. And I was practicing that today with the link that you sent us. So I think this day was uh, useful. Okay. All right. Now let's see, Olga. Well, I know and I hope that you have been practicing English lately, right? Because as I told you yesterday, I told I, I told you a couple of secrets on uh, how to do things in English, right? Okay, never get disappointed because you consider that something is difficult because if it is difficult, it's worthy. And if it is worthy, it's because we need to get it now. This is the exercise uh, I shared with you yesterday, right? So what did you get over here? Let me see. I will, I will choose some people here. Uh, Aristides. Aha. Uh -huh. What did you get here? Hello, hello Aristides. Well, Aristide seems to be busy now doing something. I don't know. I'm sorry, teacher. Voy en camino a casa. Todavía no he llegado. Okay. Carlos David, sí. thank you. Okay. <laughs> Carlos David, what did you get here? Quickly, please, because we need to we need to advance. Go with the list, teacher. <laughs> it's because I want I want. No, the thing is that I want to know the way you did it. I mean, I I, I know that you That's want me to, you want me to display this, right? But I want you to remember what you got. What did you get here? Okay. Uh, um, I had a lot, a lot of English. Um. Um, in the uh, in the present in the present simple um, but uh, um, but I still need uh, I need to uh, um, I need to learn more. Okay, Carlos. Uh, okay, yes. hey, okay, people, thank you. Hey, listen, I, I have over here uh, different options. Tell me, what is the one that you got when you did the, the activity? It has rain. It has rain in a lot. This one? Yes. Yes. It has rain. What do you get in the number two? Yeah. We, have we, haven't we, haven't we haven't played. We haven't played. We haven't played tennis. What do you get? Number three. Is I. I have lost, lost my. I have my, lost. I've lost my keys. What about this one? Uh, who has he met recently? Who has he? Who has he met? Met, met. This is met, right? Who has he met? The, in the past, in past participle is met, right? Meet, met, yeah. met. All right. Why? Uh, why haven't you called me? Why have you called me? Haven't you called me? So that is like, it's like a uh, complaining, right? Having an argument with somebody. Okay, Paul. Uh, has, has, 
Pass her the next okay. then. Okay. My sister. Has already gone to there. Hasn't. Has already gone. Number one. This is her, has already gone to bed. And this one, she. Yeah, she has already. Has already. Has read. Right? Has not read. Remember, hey, this is this. Is, I really like this verb because you know, in the present. Is read. Uh, give me a second. I think it's very confusing. Okay, in the present is past. read. In the past, read. In the past participle, read. read, read, read. Okay, so this is very peculiar. Very peculiar term. Now, what about this one? They have worked. They have worked for have a long. Worked. They have worked for a long time. For a long time. And the last one. Where have you Where been? Where have you been? Where have you been? Where have you been this week? Okay, this let, week. we were gonna check. Wow, you got a hundred percent. Good. Pretty good. So that means that you did a a great job yesterday. Well, tonight we're gonna continue with the topic, but we're not gonna go over the present perfect only, but we're gonna see simple past and we're gonna compare and we're gonna compare it with present perfect. We're gonna see some differences between them. Now, at the end, I will ask some, somebody to summarize the information in the video. Al final voy a pedir que alguien, pues, nos haga un, un summary, okay, de lo que se trata este video. So, pay attention, please. Here we go. <laughs> And of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past. And you're not going to use 
the present perfect to continue on giving more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question, right? Such as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried them last month. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom, it's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now, the question is related to uh, the example that you see there, I tried them last month. And the next questions will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is, yes, I did. And then you give more information. They were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect. And then you continue on and, and you give either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form the present perfect and then you continue on and, and you give either a positive or a negative okay let me see let me see about about what you got here Dalila Dalila what can you explain about this What did you get, Dalila? You have like two two very specific points here. Use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. And the difference, or on the contrary, use the present perfect for events within a, a time period up to the present. And something that uh, cut my attention about what it what it got was explaining is about um about the question he provided over here. Have you ever eaten snails? If you notice, the answer is yes, I have. But after that, he mentioned something else. A period is over here, and he started to provide extra information by using simple past. Later, he moved to simple past. Yes, I just no question in simple past. And uh, you see, we are just com combining everything here because have you ever eaten snails? Present perfect. Yes, I have. Present perfect. I tried them last month. Simple past. Did you like them? Simple past. Yes, I did. Simple past. And they were delicious. Simple past of the verb to be. Now, have you ever been to Vietnamese restaurant? No, I haven't, but I ate a Thai restaurant last night. So you see, it, it's the same story, right? So we hear the person, or oh, I mean, the information is just presenting the, the negative form. Because it says, no, I haven't, but I ate, I ate, simple pass, restaurant last night. Did you go alone? Simple pass. No, I went with some friends. So, as you notice, this is a topic that can, can be combined uh, in a in a same situation. Okay, let us let us try to pay special attention. Answer, and then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. 
Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use have whenever I talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, the third person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. Let me do that at this time. Hmm. In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has, as I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they, and we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have, um, and then this follows the subject, then this follows the word ever, and then the verb in its past participle form, and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? And by the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb, so sometimes you can remove it, um, and um, the question will still be correct. But in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response, such as, yes, I have, or this could be a negative response, such as, no, I haven't. And so just so that we can see clearly what's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time. All right, there we go. So have you ever eaten snails? And it's the same thing um, for our next question. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? So let's do that one as well. So I'm going to use have. This follows the subject. And then we're using the word ever. So we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form. And then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question, either yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And then this next sentence, we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement. And the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my experience in the past. So in this case, I'm going to say I tried them last month. So this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had, which is related to this topic, right? So have you ever eaten snails? And my, my answer to that question is, yes, I have. I tried them last month, so I, I'm using the simple past. And um, now the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now all the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. I tried them last month. So you want more information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see, the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is, no, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both the present perfect and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past, continue to the present. And then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. 
So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever try sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say yes, I have. And so tell me about that experience. Okay? So if you're going to tell me about that experience, then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past. So how would you tell me about that past experience? Well, have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I um, ate sushi last month. Oh, sorry. I ate sushi last month. Oh, really? And then whenever you start talking about that past experience, the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past. Did you like did you like it? Now, how would you respond to that? Well, you can you can respond to that by answering yes, I did, or no, I didn't. I thought it was great, or I didn't like it. Just to finish. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten exotic food? Um, as you answer these questions, what I would like for you to do is to answer the question with either yes, I have, and then I want you to tell me that past experience. So similar to the examples that we see on the chart, let's say the question is, have you ever eaten Mexican food? And let's say that your answer is, yes, I have. Then you will tell me where and how did you like it? So as you can see, what I'm trying to get to is that you give me your response and then you give me information about that particular past event. And that's what I would like for you to do for all of those questions there. Okay, let us summarize what we got from it. Okay, what was significant about it, people, about this topic? What was significant for you? What did you, did you learn through this video? Uh-huh. Hello, are you there? Uh, we, can, we can use the present the the past per, the present perfect uh, at the at the beginning but after in our answers we can we can use the simple past for okay. talk about experience great actually that was the video about right so the way to use present perfect and after using present perfect you need to use simple past tense, like the examples that were, were given there. Now, we're going to see the, the knowledge check, and we will discover that uh, here there is a there is a listening, okay, about Katie, about Steve, and about the rest, right? So we're going to we're going to go over it, and then you will try to con to complete, right? the information. Example, has Katie ever eaten snails? Yes, she has, she ate snails. No, she hasn't, she thinks they are testophile. No, she hasn't, but she would like to order 10. So you, you will decide which is the best option there. What did Steve order? Steve ordered snails. Steve ordered the fried brains. Or Steve ordered the a burger. Then we have a two false uh, section, and this is the number four, number five, and that's it. So we're gonna go over the audio, people. Let me know if you listen to.
So we're going to try. Listen and practice. Listen and practice, please. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. So that's it, right? So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see it. The, the 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 statements and also tell me what's the possible answer for you. For example, has Katie ever eaten snails? Yes, she has. She ate yes, snails. She, she ate snails. Okay, so something that I want you to notice is that after answering with present perfect, the guy moves to simple past. So that's what I want you to pay special attention about tonight's class. What is the order? It's the order. 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 So you say true, true. Number, number four, what is, what is the correct response to the question? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Yes, I have. I went to a Mexican restaurant last I weekend. I went to a Mexican restaurant. Last weekend. I have. Okay. So, Number five, what is a correct response to the question? Did you drink coffee this morning? Yes, I did. I, I had some on my way to work. That's the first thing, right? Yes. Let us check it. And actually, you were right. Okay, what are you going to do now, people? Let me see this. I think there's a question here. Um, okay, okay, I forgot. I deactivated my camera, but okay. Thank you. Thank you for um for that. Okay, so well actually you saw uh, all of them. And you did it in the right way. So what are we going to do now? Mm, we still have like 20 minutes. So you're going to prepare something for tomorrow. In case we, we, cannot, we cannot finish with it tonight. Um, uh, we're going to work in pairs. I have 18 people. Okay, and you are going to share an experience with your classmate. Okay, and in that experience, you are going to uh, create a, a short conversation in which you include the grammar we have studied tonight. Simple past and present perfect at the same time. And also the information that we studied yesterday night was, it's, it's meaningful. So, for example, hey, have you ever climbed the volcano, the Isalco volcano? Yes or no? No, I haven't. I know you haven't. Okay, so, but in case you have done it, they will say, yes, I have. Well, last year I went with, with some friends and we climbed uh, 
uh, the, the, that volcano, it was fantastic, especially when we got to the top of the volcano. It was amazing. Okay, so you, you say something like that. So you create a, a, a short conversation for presenting tomorrow because I think time is not going to be enough. So I will give you some time for you to start tonight. Van a crear una pequeña conversación en donde ustedes compartan una experiencia y utilicen el presente perfecto y pasado simple. Es lo más importante que hemos estudiado esta noche, así que pues hay que ver cómo lo ponemos en práctica. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna work over it like 15 minutes and we're gonna get back. 15 minutos para que se pongan de acuerdo, comiencen la conversación y mañana nos la compartan. Any question? Here we go. Teacher, tell me, tell me. Solamente una, solo, solo una observación. La que... Juan Carlos. Hola, Idalia. Okay, Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos, any observation? You, you, you say something, right? Sí, una observación. Lo que pasa es que sí es que ahorita estoy en el hospital y le iba a decir que si podría poner a alguien más en pareja porque no, no estoy para, no, no, no estoy en las condiciones para hacer bien la, la, la historia y así para no porque por ratito me llaman y a veces me voy y no tengo. Ok, vamos a incluir acá en este grupo a Iliana. Ok. So, try to, try to get into an agreement, ok. Ok, está bien. Good night. Let me see. Did you visit the plane? Mm, which? Sí, podría ser. Visit the plane. Playa. Ah, uh -huh, podría, podría ser. Okay. You did. Did, did you visit Serian Beach? A visitar la playa. Entonces ahí. Entonces ahí ya podríamos hacer. Sí, sí. Podría decir, decir la... no. O que sí, porque si es no, de todas formas hay que poner un complemento. Podría ser, digamos, si es en, en, en positivo, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, yes I, I have. have. I, I have, ¿verdad? Querido Dios, he intentado... La puedes decir en yes. español. Disculpa que... que... Admito que por mí mismo no tengo el... Hola. 
Necesito comenzar. Crisia. La, la primera pregunta que decís. So, yo escucho algo del fondo. No, sí, sí hay algo del fondo. Hola. Me escuchas, no. Sí, Crisia, si ¿sí nos puede repetir, es que yo ahí no le capto Show City. No, eh. Surf City. La, la cosa sí. del no, el presidente, ya en la playa. Pero. Sí, eh, perdón, eh, le, le decía de que voy a ir anotando para que no perdamos. Ah, vale. Entonces sería. Usted comenzaría, digamos. Hi, Claudia. Sí, hi Claudia. Eh, hi Claudia, how are you doing? Uh, I want to share with you my experience that I had this weekend. I I want to show you, perdón. Ah, espérame. ¿Cómo me dijo? Sí, sí, se lo voy a pasar al chat, al chat de Zoom. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, esto llevo ahorita. Ah. I want to share with you my experience. Dice, y en español, hola Claudia, ¿cómo te va? Quiero compartirte mi experiencia que tuve este fin de semana. Este... Hello, hello, María. Estoy sola, teacher. No, mmm, pero hay alguien que se salió, ¿verdad? O desde, un, in... que desde un inicio. Desde un inicio. Sí, desde un inicio, teacher. Ok, give me a second. Veamos, por aquí vamos a colocar a alguien. Ok, Elena se nos va a unir, ¿ok? Ok. So, Mary, uh, si Elena lo, no logra conectarse, entonces, pues, eh, prepare algo uh, usted solita, ¿ok? Y mañana nos lo presenta. Eso estoy haciendo, Ticha. Oh, ok, excelente. Ay, Dios. Oh, oh. Empezaremos con Hi. Y escojamos una película. Um, una película que, que hayamos visto todos en Si hablamos algo de, de miedo, la... okay. What about you? Permítame. 
¿Ya lo copiaron? Espéreme, espéreme, dime un segundo. No, en el... En el chat, no. No. No, ah, solo... ah, ya, 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 ya. Pero, deme un segundo, por favor. Permítame, permítame. I didn't, I went visit with my coworker because for, for work thing. Por cuanto? For work thing. For ah, work thing. thing. Oh, okay. Equipo de trabajo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, otra pregunta que le haría sería eh, what was the no, pero es que eh, what? creo que ya sería otro eh, ¿sabe algún, algún lugar que sea bien reconocido turístico de ahí? para que yo le pueda preguntar eh, did you visit did you visit y el nombre del lugar mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, la playa. Ajá. Eh, sabe, sabe la... Ajá. También tiene islas, creo, ¿verdad? Sí, tiene islas. Hay eh, una isla bien famosa. Pero no las playas de oh, Pacífico y las playas de Atlántico. Entonces... Yo le preguntaría, eh, did you visit, did, did you visit the Atlanta Beach? Yo, yo diría, no, I don't. No, I don't because... No, I didn't. Ah, uh, 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 sí, es verdad. No, uh -huh. I didn't. No, I didn't because only, only, um, because only visit Costa Rica for my work. Uh -huh. Eh, quiero ver otra pregunta que le haría sería este... How long time eh... How long time last the trip Last the trip Sería como cuánto tiempo duró el viaje, si no me equivoco. Mm. Un delicioso. Uh -huh. okay. uh, I ate fish last Saturday and it was delicious. Ok, uh -huh. uh, Yes, I have, I ate, I ate fish last Saturday and uh, it was delicious. Okay, see, I think it is what or was delicious? It was delicious. Así. Sí, it, uh, uh, it, it was delicious. Ajá, uh -huh. okay. Mm. Que diga, estuvo delicioso, como fue en pasado sí. que lo comí. No, pero yo la primera no la entendí la pronunciación. It was delicious, but it was... It was delicious. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Ya, yo, ok, le voy a poner. Um... Vaya, vaya, por ejemplo... Eh... 
Vale, ok. Um, luego podemos poner... Um... Vale, y Dalia... Bueno, sería que primero le diría yo... Uh, how, how do you ever visit uh, La Unión? Ajá. Y de, yes, I have. I went to the beach. Sí. With my family. Así. I went, I went with, I went with my family. Ah. And I. Ah, uh, ya. Yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Va. Y luego otra pregunta, ¿verdad? Sí, después usted me pregunta. How you ever? ¿Cuál era la pregunta? No la noté muy bien. How you, you ever? Eh, at fish. Okay, pretty good. Now I saw that you were just practicing, trying to get uh, many ideas with present perfect and also simple past. And I, I heard that some of you are going to talk about um, the beach, um, soft city, as far as I, as I heard. And well, Tomorrow will be the day for you to present that conversation. Uh, something that I would really appreciate you do is to practice it and for sure to, to, to notice about the right pronunciation of the expressions that you're gonna use tomorrow, okay? Because if you practice a um, certain vocabulary in a wrong way, so you are going to believe that you are pronouncing the words correctly. But that's why I have told you um, some previous um, days ago, it's important that you make sure that the pronunciation of the words that you are just using is the, is the correct. Por ahí estaba escuchando algunos en sus prácticas eh, que están eh, mispronouncing es pronunciando equivocadamente ciertas frases. Uh, lo, lo importante de la observación es que ustedes noten que si, digamos, yo me aprendo un verbo como uh, wash y lo, y lo empiezo a pronunciar como wash it, wash it, y yo creo que wash it es la pronunciación correcta, y lo empiezo a practicar como wash it, wash it, wash it. Ya sabemos que es errado, ¿verdad? Que no se pronuncia así ese verbo. Pero, ¿qué tal si yo lo empiezo a pronunciar así? Y digo, ah, bueno, así se pronuncia, así me lo aprendo. Wash it, wash it. Y resulta que cada vez que, que nos memorizamos un, una frase o un verbo de manera equivocada, creyendo que es así, uh, lo que sucede es... Mm, que después es más difícil um, aprendérselo de la manera correcta porque primero hay que desaprender ¿okay? lo que hemos aprendido mal y ya luego aprender lo que debemos de decir de manera correcta. Entonces, para mí es importantísimo que ustedes um, repasen lo que van a decir y que se aseguren que la pronunciación es la correcta. ¿Ok? Um, no sé si hay preguntas. Si, le, si encontraron algo difícil con el ejercicio. Observations. Ma Tomorrow we're going to start with it, ¿ok? Mañana iniciaríamos con esa conversación. Si pudiesen también buscar una conversación que ya está en la web y la pueden adaptar, háganlo. Yo sé que son personas ocupadas, ¿ok? Sé que son personas que, pues, um, tienen su día ocupado y, pues, si está la web ahí, hagamos uso, hagamos uso correcto de la web. Okay. Y ahorrémonos tiempo y aprendamos más rápido. Ese es el objetivo 
el internet tiene esos beneficios que podemos aprender cuan, cuando nosotros dispongamos de tiempo. ¿Ok? En el momento que usted considere indicado, puede navegar, aprender algo y traerlo a la sesión. Eh, sí. Question? Ajá. ¿Tiene que ser este, corta o larga la conversación? Uh, it's up to you. Depende de ustedes. Ok. Pero si decimos largo, que no sobrepase los cinco minutos. Ok. Ok. Uh, si decimos corto, pues que tampoco nos vayamos a unos 40 segundos. Que uh -huh. sean tre mínimo tres, máximo cinco. ¿Qué les parece? Ok. Ok. Very good. So, I think, I think we are going to do something great for tomorrow. So, people, remember, let's, let's keep uh, practicing present perfect, which is the topic that we're in church of working tonight, in simple past tense, and the way to combine them. O sea, hay que ir empezando a combinar esos tiempos. Ahorita estamos con pasado simple, presente perfecto. Y si quisiesen, ustedes pudiesen incluir lo que vimos ayer, que es presente perfecto progresivo. Ahí depende de cada quien, ¿ok? Es libre, y, pero siempre y cuando le incluyamos como los temas principales que estamos viendo. Si no hay preguntas, nos vemos mañana. Sí, yo tomo Sí, yo tomo La no sé si... Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the attendance, right? So, permítanme. Al principio me conecté tarde por estar ocupado. Sí, 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 sí. Vaya. Ok, Aristides. Present, present. Carlos David. César Iván. Ok, me hace contigo. Claudia Margarita. Present. Lourdes. Present, teacher. Dalila. Present, teacher. Elena. Present. Gabriela. Present, teacher. Idalia. Present, teacher. Liliana. Present. Ingrid. Present, teacher. Um... Liliana o Liliana dijo. Ahí se Ileana. Ah, ok. Ah, pues no soy yo. <laughs> no, by Ileana is over here, right? Yeah, teacher. Yeah. Eh, Juan Carlos. Present, teacher. Crisia. Li no, Liliana. Hoy oh, sí, present. No, ok, very good. Eh, María Magdalena. Present, teacher. Olga. Present teacher. Rina. Present teacher. And Wendy. Wow, this group is amazing. Present teacher. Excellent. This group is amazing. Hey, let, let us see tomorrow, people. Okay. Thank you. Good evening. Okay. Good, good, evening. good night. Good night, now teacher. Say good night, good right? night teacher. Sorry. Good night. Okay, good night. Have a good night, everyone. See you tomorrow.